Hello and good afternoon from very windy Alliance Park for our penultimate home game of our 2023-24 Lone League campaign. Today's opposition will be Edinburgh University, who sit in the bottom two of the division, a side that we beat 3-1 earlier in the season thanks to goals from Ross McNeil, Jack McDowell and Matty Collins in the capital. And after back-to-back -back wins in the league and the cup, Ricky Waddle has only made one change to his lineup with Archie Graham returning to defence, which sees Greg Stewart push up into the number 10 position. Meanwhile, on the bench, there's a first appearance for Andrew Gaffney after the young midfielder joined on the line from St Mirren until the end of the season. Meanwhile, Edinburgh University come into the game having recorded four points in their last three games, and they have a starting lineup of Samuel, McGinley, Shingle, Taylor, Murray, Maskery, Antonuke, Hendry, Garrod, Raphael, and Captain Matthew Dick. Welcome back. We're here for the Caledonian Braves against Edinburgh University as Ross McNeil gets his underway. Here goes Greg Stewart. Oh, Aiden Cockett play a nice turn on the edge of the box. Takes his man on. Defender does well though. John Guthrie crosses it in. Ooh. Ross McNeil oh. gets the shot away, but just wide. And they're showing they're quite, quite happy to put some passes together when they can here. Cammy Brenner breaks out to Aiden Cockett. They've seen that already a couple of times now. Aiden Cockett gets the shot away. Ooh. Goes near post, but a little high. Not a bad effort from Aiden, but a very difficult angle there to try and sneak it in. Sort of. Oh, John Guthrie, lovely positive pass into Aiden Clockety. This ball gets caught under his feet though. Archie Graham plays the ball over the top. Greg Stewart's beating the offside trap. It's onside, yeah. Oh, lovely touch. Don't know if he knew too much about it, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Cammy Bredner with the cross. Somehow gets through, and what a save that is from the goalkeeper. From point blank range, Christian Getka takes a touch on the chest and. Oh, and oh my goodness. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but I think it's been given for offside. I've, I've had to, to ask before as well, is he right or left footed as well, Christine? Because <laughs> he can catch the ball with either peg as well. As this man, Cammy Brennan, in the box can do, and he hits a left footed shot, the keeper saves down low. And the defender scrambles it clear. Another chance for the Braves. So, for anyone who's not too familiar with the game of Greg Stewart, Fraser Rapp. He's obviously a player that's under contract for next season and we're making quite a big deal about him moving into that position today, but tell the viewers a bit about what we've seen from Greg Stewart this season. Oh, um, flawless performances in defence. I think I've really... I, but worried as in Clockety crosses the ball out into Ross McNeil, takes a touch, and again, can he get the shot away? He does, good yes. goal. Brilliant from the Braves there. Good cross from Aidan Clockety. And, Ross McNeil, he took a couple of touches, but he got there in the end, and yeah, he's not missing from that range. It was a soft foul, though, I would say, I think. Don't know how much of that. Maybe had a wee bit of a hold of him, but that's an outswinger here, and oh, that's just wider. Just wider, the post up's a great ball in, and mm. decent header, but again, it's just the ball's kind of lost in midfield, no one really looking to claim it, but Edinburgh. University take a hold of it now and they'll break down the left hand side here with Raphael. Step over to the byline into Antonuk here who gets the ball spawns underneath Bernie White. That was positive from Edinburgh University there and as you said you you highlighted the threat that Raphael poses and he, he stood up. Jack Brown did well to get the ball across and Antonuk as we were seeing as well also possesses a quality to cause yep. the Braves problems. Bernie White sends the ball up long for the Braves. No, no, Ross McNeil's not winning them, is he? Really, it's a sun drenched Al Alliance Park now. It's Cammy Brenner looks to hit the byline, gets that across to Ross McNeil, who does well, and that's a great goal from the Braves. Brilliant from Cammy Brenner. As we said, if he gets this opportunity to run at the defence, he'll cause problems. And then Ross McNeil in his favourite part of the pitch, six yard box. Daniel Martins does well. Bust defend in there. There's a the ball. And oh, and Ross McNeil's through on goal here, one on one. And he gets and a hat trick. Slows it past the goal. Brilliant. Fantastic. Just one minute into the second half, whatever Ricky Waddle said at half times. He <laughs> dividends there as Ross McNeil gets in behind. And he was always going to finish that one off, wasn't he? Yeah. I feel sorry for the Edinburgh University right back. It, that was a real, it was a difficult match McGinley. It was a, Difficult ball to deal with. He was on a 
the back foot there and he was trying to play it back to his goalkeeper but the pass was short and Ross McNeil was on his toes and pounced. Anyway, Greg Stewart with his ball does really well to that's the feet of Greg Stewart. Unfortunately just loses out to the three men but Anthony Nuke here on the turn to the number 10 plays it at the edge of the box to get a shot away but anyway he, he'll see that away any day. Christian get called clear. We'll have some defence to do from this corner here, which is swung in towards the middle, and it's met well. And Edinburgh University have got a goal, and it's game on once again. It's, yeah, just as we say there, we can't argue with the defending. I think the defending left a wee bit to be desired there. It was a great ball in from Antonyuk. Lovely shirt intercepts, and oh, oh had to get that nice. right. <laughs> <laughs> We had, the same, we had the same reaction there, yeah. I could have uh, gone badly wrong for it. Jacob Taylor, if he hadn't got enough on that, but he did well. John Good Guthrie pressing. pounces into Ross McNeil. Takes the time, he gets the shot away. Oh. He's caught that one there. He has caught it. It was a, yeah, it was a good opportunity. That's Lewis Hendry oh. again causing problems when Robert Stewart's on the goal line to clear oh, that. Yeah, it just shows you exactly the threat that Edinburgh University still pose. They're definitely not out of this game. Ross McNeil, now Greg Stewart breaks into the box here, takes it past Shingle, goes down under the challenge and they get penalty. a penalty. Great running there from Greg Stewart and looks like he had his heel put from behind there. And Who do you think will take this, Callum? This will surely put this game to bed if Ross McNeil can finish this one off here and he hits it right-footed. And the Braves have their fourth goal here, and Ross McNeil is fourth of the afternoon. And the Braves are never in doubt there. Never in doubt, no, that was a confident penalty from Ross McNeil. He's flying high confidence today. And he sent Smith Samuel the, the opposite direction. It's an out swinging Cammy Bredner. Free kick. Rather corner, sorry. Doesn't quite beat Shingle, but John Guthrie on the edge of the box, he gets the shot away. And no time for the corner, but there you go, the referee signals for full time and a strong performance from the Braves and a, a good 4-2 victory.